Chardin is a rather interesting artist. He's creating art in a tradition known as natural art. Now this is based on Rousseau's idea that the salvation of man is through the return of man to a primitive state. Science and development, he believed, corrupted people's minds and had dire consequences for their soul. Emotion, he believed, became, came before reason and is damaged by reason. This is a reaction against not just the Industrial Revolution, but the Enlightenment as a whole. Quote, man by nature is good. He is depraved and perverted by society. Now, these ideas of return to an emotional state would end the Rococo and were responsible for the rise of more natural or primitive art in subject rather than style. Now, Chardin himself was known for painting quiet scenes of domestic life. These are quiet, they're nostalgic, they're comforting, especially in a time when everything's changing. And he tends to reflect Rousseau's ideas, this idea that simplicity will be the salvation of man, a return to an easier, simpler time. And for the people who are buying these works in the upper middle class and upper classes, that means a return to a time that is often reflected in art as lower middle class or working class, because those people, they believe, have a simpler life. And we see that in saying grace. So when you look at the work, how does the work begin to reflect Rousseau's ideas? First of all, look at the setting. It is very simple and straightforward. There isn't that much there. There's the two children, there's mom, she's feeding the children. We have very simple accoutrements in the background. Here, the viewer stands in the dining room where a mother and daughters are about to dine. I should point out the tradition at the time is that the mother or nanny or whomever else is going to feed the children, put them to bed before dad gets home. When dad gets home, he gets to have an adult meal with mom and some adult time, whatever that might mean at the time. What we see is a mellow light and worn surfaces that speak to domestic history. This is a house as it would appear, not dolled up by the artist. And there are a couple of things that we can see here. For example, very simple furnishings. In the background, every one of those furnishings is utilitarian. There's nothing there that's meant to be decorative. They haven't gone out antiquing on weekends. This is a simple, straightforward life. You make dinner, you eat dinner, you go to bed, you follow a very simple schedule, doing very simple things. We also happen to have a Cole Brazier down there in the corner. You know, yes, you should not be using coal inside a house, carbon monoxide and all that, but this is a simpler time. The use of a small brazier like that would have been quite common. We're also missing someone. There's something else here. Exactly. Where's dad? Now, in a typical domestic setting, you would see husband and wife and maybe children. But here we see wife and children with no husband. The idea is that the family is in some ways corrupted by the fact that dad has to work in the factory. And at this time, working at the factory is probably 16 hours. So it's a very, very long shift. The family rarely would see the provider of the family. And we're seeing that here. He's, his absence is blaring in this case. So what Chardin is getting at is that the family unit is not whole in large part because of the Industrial Revolution, the need for dad to be out of the house. Now, when we look at the light and the composition, we see something that is a mix of Renaissance and Baroque. The lighting on the figures themselves, that is Renaissance. So we don't have that really strong chiaroscuro or use of light and shadow that we see elsewhere throughout the Renaissance and then to a larger extent during the Baroque. But from the Baroque, we get this very ambiguous background. Everything has been moved more or less to the foreground. We have figures that are lit in a relatively dramatic way, although the shadows aren't there. It doesn't have the same sculptural quality we might expect from the Baroque or certain parts of the Renaissance. In terms of overall feel, it's meant to be simple. And part of what Chardin is doing is he's keeping the composition simple to get across the idea of nostalgia. 
simple times and return to a more natural state, even though it isn't a truly natural state in Rousseau's philosophy.